Yo, what is up everyone? I'm GChrisFX, bringing a brand new video, and in today's video, we're gonna be going over how to speed ramp in your videos, and when and why we should be using them. So, with all that said and done, let's get started. First thing we're going to be doing is opening up Premiere Pro and selecting our files. Once we have the clips that we have selected, we can put them onto the timeline and start working on speed ramping. Now that the clips are on the timeline, we can stretch out the video track so that way we can adjust the adjustments we need when we make keyframes. Right click the FX button that's on the clip and select time remapping and speed ramping. From there we can select P on the keyboard for the pin tool and make our first keyframes. Once the keyframes have been made, we can drag up and down to change the speed of the video. Doing this to multiple clips, guys, and lining them up perfectly will help create a much more impactful video. I do want to mention that speed ramping and warp stabilization does not work together. What you instead have to do is warp stabilize the clip first and then nest it, making it its own clip, and then you can apply speed ramping. Once I did all the speed ramping to all the clips that I need, I then finished the video by colorizing it and adding audio effects. Once all the editing is done guys, I do like to render it all out to see what the final product will look like, and this is what we came up with. Now that we know how to speed ramp, let's talk about when we should use speed ramping in our videos. It's important to understand that speed ramping is just another tool and should be used to either emphasize a clip or to help transition from clip to clip. If you are going to be using speed ramping to emphasize a moment in the video, make sure that it's very impactful or else you're just wasting the space on the timeline. On the other hand, if you're trying to use speed ramping as a transition from clip to clip, make sure that you line up those clips to the beat of the music. One quick tip for speed ramping is to not be so predictable. I see way too many videographers and editors speed ramping to every single beat of the music. It's important to switch it up and use it tastefully. Now that we've covered when to speed ramp, let's talk about why we should speed ramp. Remember guys, speed ramping is used to express the moments in the video, whether it's from transitions or to emphasize certain times in the video. Speed ramping helps the flow in the video. Flow is super important because it helps keep the audience engaged throughout the whole video. This is exactly why I said to not be so predictable. If you are predictable, the audience will anticipate what's gonna happen next, which therefore loses their interest. Well guys, that's the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it and learned something new. I understand that speed ramping does take time and practice, but with some trial and error, I'm sure you'll get the hang of it very soon. But with all that said, guys, have yourself a wonderful day or night whenever you're watching this. Don't forget to please comment, like, and subscribe. Peace.